and Lorica Derry is pulled up. Looks as if that one may have gone lame. So Lorica Derry out of the race as they take this one. There's a big oak tree in the way, right in the middle of that fence from where I'm looking. But Ash Green takes it up again from Selassie. And we've lost Burwood Breeze at that one, just about last up the time, but in touch. So the five runners have quickly become three. And Ash Green and Jess James take it up now from the Grey Hemington on the inside. On the outside of that one is Selassie. As they pass the judge now with a circuit ahead of them. Towards these fences and come very close together. Fences 12 and 13. No, you're not like and Ash Green from Hemington. They're beginning to put a few lengths between themselves and Selassie now. As they jump that one, Selassie inclined to jump out to the left. Swing down there now for the final time on towards their last open ditch, which will be fence number 14. Ash Green and Hemington, little to choose between the two. Ash Green and Jess James, Hemington and Jeremy Maho. They're about six or seven lanes clear now of Selassie as they race down into the bottom of the course. Ash Green, 12 years old. Hemington, half that. As they straighten up now to take this final open ditch. Absolutely neck and neck. Ash Green gained about a neck at that one from Hemington. It's going really well on the outside. They've got about eight or ten lanes clear of Selassie now in third place. But Sean and Blakey's had a good first point-to-point -point ride as they come to this fourth last fence where Hemington just about takes it up. Dive, that is. Good sit there by Jeremy Maho. Didn't lose any ground. Ash Green just James is getting to work on that one. Still only about half length between them and they remain clear of Selassie. So three to jump. It's all uphill from here. And Hemington. On a two and a half mile lead from Cottenham earlier on in the season. That one leads by about three quarters of a length from Ash Green. Still seems to be going quite well. Hemington on the outside of Ash Green as they come to take this third last. And a much better jump by Ash Green there. Hemington ballooned it. Ash Green's gone on by a couple of lengths. Back in third place to this Selassie. So racing up now to this second last lane. Ash Green and Hemington as they take it. Ash Green, Hemington, the Grey coming to challenge again on the outside as they come to this 18th and final fence. Hemington's come to just about take it up, leads by about half a length from Ash Green. They're still clear of Selassie back in third place who made a mistake, but Charlotte Blakey sat that one well as they race up to the judge. It's Hemington now beginning to assert on this running. Hemington the favourite and Jeremy Maho from a very game Ash Green in second place. Selassie is going to finish third. of Rockin' Robin and Bode Lane Joe. Back into this home straight, still over a circuit to go, as they take this next one. Hawks Landing, Bode Lane Joe has pulled up before jumping that one. So as they come to this fence, it'll be the last next time. Fresh Love and Ben Post from Mr. Goofy. Mistake of that one by Rathful Dancer. So Fresh Love, Mr. Goofy, Hawks Landing. Then comes Mighty Stroll on the outside of that one. Shaft's chance making headway. Closely followed by Rascal Dancer and Magic Go Red Fight. Between them, other than Rockin' Robin, as they take fence number 12. Fresh Love takes that one in the lead, jumps it well. Quickly on to the next Fresh Love. Hawks landing Mighty Stroll as they prepare to swing on left handed up there. Also was Mr. Goofy, in fact, Mighty Strong has lost a few places in back at the rear now of that main group. They're well clear of Rocking Robin, so racing down towards the fifth from home, the final open ditch for a sharp chance. And Kelderwood has taken it up from Mr. Goofy and Fresh Love. And Magico races back in fourth place. After Magico then Chance and the better jump by Mark Chance Chance to stay there by 
by the favourite Mr. Goofy. So Sean Sean leads by about a length and a half from Fresh Love and Mr. Goofy. Back in fourth place is Magico and they've gone well clear. Rathcall Dancer, Mighty Strong and Hawks Landing. So three jump to the Rocky Robin pulled up down at the bottom of the course. So three to jump as they come through the trees. Chance, chance by about a length from Mr. Goofy. Mr. Goofy trying to challenge, jumps it adequately on the inside, not desperately impressive though as they swing into this home straight with just two to jump. Shaft chance in the darker jacket on the inside is Mr. Goofy, blue and green. Magico has pulled up before jumping that one, so they race towards his final fence and it's Shaft's chance from Mr. Goofy and Fresh Love. Shaft's chance up and over from Fresh Love and Mr. Goofy. Judge, Shaft's chance. Been an unlucky horse in the past, actually, as short the way now, Shaft's chance. Given a very positive ride by Kelderwood, is going to beat Stable Mate Fresh Love in second place in that orange jacket. Favourite Mr. Goofy in the blue and green stripe sleeves back in third Second. place. And those look as if they'll be the only three pinches. <laughs> Mr. Falcon and the wife's sister. Just now, with still over a circuit to go. And they've got a safely negotiated fence number 10. This is fence number 11. And they've got to do it all again. Wings of Hope from Point has come up to actually disputed on the outside now with Jane Williams. Sam in us close up with so and so honest endeavour. Beginning to bunch up as they race past us with a circuit to go. Points taking it up from Wings of Hope, selling us on the never then. Yeah. On the outside, and some of that between them is Mr. Fluffy. They're followed by Mr. Falcon, who's on the inside of Haggle Twins, who's lost places. And then comes the White Sister. Quickly on to the next point. Mr. Fluffy hit that one quite hard as they race downhill now on towards their final five fences. They're up front, point, and Jane Williams have gone on by about two and a half lengths from Honest Endeavour is on the outside of Wings of Hope. Three lengths gap then to Mr. Fluffy and up some of that. Another two back to hand to the Sien Weakening and also Salinas and Haggle Twins. Mr. Falcon and finally the White Sister. This is their final open ditch. Five fences from home, point. Leads into it, jumps it well from Honest Endeavour. Some of that has gone third on the outside in that red jacket, relegating him to the fourth. Then comes Mr. Fluffy Salina, and the Sien Haggle Twins of Mr. Falcon, remaining clear of the wife's sister. This is four out, and point really got into the bottom of that one for Jane Williams. And some of that has gone on that one, went in third place. So they race up towards these final three fences. And point it's point to point debut racing behind these trees just come into view point has gone on by about five lengths from honest endeavor and those have gone well clear of wings of hope salinas and the remainder this is three out point from honest endeavor point by about two lengths from honest endeavor who's trying to challenge now on the outside as they race towards these final two fences. Point took the running up with just over a circuit to go from Honest Endeavour as they race now towards the final fence. And Honest Endeavour comes up on the outside to challenge Point, coming to it. Honest Endeavour's gone on now by about a length and a half from Point. Honest Endeavour and Angela Rucker who were in winning form down in Surrey yesterday. Jane Williams back in second place on point, put up a good performance, but Honest Endeavour's quickened up well on the run in and goes on to take this one from point in second place. It could be close for third place. Haggle Twins is running on with great gusto to probably catch Wings of Hope, but we'll leave that one to the judge. Back in fifth place, Sally Nass. Pretty Lady Rose is on the inside of Chisholm. This will be the second last next time as they take it. It'll change in the order on the outside. 
grey is Isle of Sky. On the inside artist views between them and going quite well. Pulling quite hard still is back from the Congo. Make it plain fell at that fence. So as they race past us with a circuit ahead of them. Isle of Sky just leads artist views then close up back from the Congo on the outside bobbing for the lad with the yellow sleeves makes headway to Chisholm right there with Adrian Wintle as they take this one. On the inside of that one of this and we've lost one there. Can't see any colours at the moment. Pretty Lady Rose it was. Claire Allen up on K. Looks if the horse is okay also. As they swing downhill now with five fences to jump and back from the Congo. One up on the inside of Isle of Sky. The Chisholm races a length away in third place and comes Murphy's Fusilier is made ground up into fourth place. That's where the gate is bobbing to lunch for fifth. Six is artist new, seven is mountain trooper, and they've gone well to the silver. Rockwell Rover and the Bell Fox. So there's the bottom of the course. Five fences to jump. And they come to this one. And Murphy's Fusilier in their starting area with fourth jump. And up front, back from the Congo Island Sky and the Chisholm. Little to choose between the three. Murphy's Fusilier about two lengths away as they take this one. Back from the Congo, led by about half a length from the Chisholm. They're beginning to surge from Island Sky and Murphy's Fusilier. The rest of them are well spread out. One pulling up at the back of the field is Artist Muse. So they've got three to jump as they race behind the trees on towards these final three fences. Little to choose between the Chisholm in the green jacket on the inside of back from the Congo. The Chisholm leads by about a neck as they come into this. Got to jump on the outside by back from the Congo. It appears to be going quite well on the outside of the Chisholm as they race now towards these final two fences as they come up towards this second last back from the congo and the chisholm back from the congos just about taking it up on the outside from the chisholm as they race towards this final fence back from the congo and the chisholm chisholm didn't get too high at that and back from the congo and then post have taken it up now as they race up towards the jug back from the congo the Chadsley winner hanging on at the moment from the Chisholm in second place, trying to mount the challenge again. But back from the Congo. Fusilier and early leader Isle of Sky will be four. Racing back into the home straight, towards this line of four fences. Next one is fence number 10, Makina from Banbury Babe, Celestial Dragon. As they come to this one, Makina from Celestial Dragon is moving to second place. Then comes Banbury Babe, Mr. Batoli being roasted up then Psyche Savage gets closer on the inside in the red and blue jacket and they've drawn clear of Beau Michel. Looks as if that one might pull up in a moment as they race past the judge with the circuit to go. So Makina leads by two or three lanes from Celestial Dragon. A couple of lanes then back to Banbury Babe, Mr. Batoli, Dave Mansell yet to make his move on Psyche Savage. Beau Michel is pulling up before that 12th fence. Quickly on to 13. The lead is all over safely. They swing downhill for the final time, and Makina, this one qualified with the Pembrokeshire Hunt. Makina by two or three lanes from Celestial Dragon. Psyche Savage going ominously well on the inside with David Mantle. Gone up to join Celestial Dragon, about a length and a half behind the leader. So Makina from Psyche Savage and... Celestial Dragon, those are the first three. Then comes Banbury Bay, Mr. Batoli, beginning to lose touch now. So this is five out. Makina comes to it by a length from Psyche Savage. Makina very slow, overtaken on the flat by Psyche Savage and Celestial Dragon. So racing down towards this fourth last. Psyche Savage on the inside, already a winner 
this scene. On the outside, Celestial Dragon, David Mansell and Richard Burton, two of the top jockeys, and a better jump by Celestial Dragon there. Celestial Dragon on the outside of Psyche Savage, and then the lead is on clear of Banbury Bay, who's passing the weakening Makina now. Mr. Batoli still going, but getting well behind. So, three fences to jump. Celestial Dragon and Psyche Savage. Little to choose between them. Psyche Savage takes it up now on the inside of Celestial Dragon as they race towards this third last fence. Psyche Savage gone on by a couple of lengths now from Celestial Dragon. Psyche Savage a little bit slow. Celestial Dragon gets within a length. About three then back to Banbury Babe. who's trying quite hard in third place and they've gone well clear of the remainder. So two fences to jump. Psyche Savage from the Julie Holday stable, Celestial Dragon trying to challenge again on the outside, and then Banbury Bay back in third place, so Psyche Savage and Celestial Dragon, Psyche Savage by and Celestial Dragon has gone with that one, Richard Burton up quickly, but Psyche Savage being ridden out to hold Banbury Bay at the moment, as they race up to the judge, Psyche Savage, is this another one for David Mansell and Julie Holday? Banbury Babe is game, on, if ben. nothing else, but Psyche on, Savage ben. holds on for Banbury Babe, and they're well clear of Mr. Ritoni, who's going to claim third place ahead of early leader, Makina. <laughs> Oh So Lively comes next as they race back towards us for the second time and towards fence number 10 so they come now to the fence that will be the last next time Ho Nelson and Ben Post already on the score sheet today we've lost Nay Ruse at that one unseated Sam Twist and Davis when making progress so as they race up past us with a circuit to go, Sam's up and on his feet okay, so Ho Nelson from Lord Payne, Tribal Venture, New Time, and Lord Seamus. So likely making very up quickly on the outside, Willie the Kid on the inside of that one, always barking right there also. The one at the back of that main group is Infrasonic, well clear of the tailed off reviewer as they take this, and we've lost Willie the Kid at that one. Willie the Kid unseated when in touch with the leaders so downhill they go for the last time home nelson then by a length from tribal venture on the outside oh so lively on the inside is lord Payne. lord seamus is also there with them they're closely followed then by new time and always well, absolutely barking rather so five to jump the open ditch for the second time is their next fence that's number 14 of the so as they come to it, Ho Nelson in the Antrise colours, from Ho So Lively on the outside, comes Lord Seamus and Tribal Venture. And racing now towards the full mast, Ho Nelson by length from Tribal Venture to Grey going into the second place, and Oh So Lively and Lord Seamus. They've about four or five lengths cleared, absolutely barking, and then the weakening new time, and also Lord Payne. They're clear of the remainder. So they've got three fences to jump. All uphill now for the novice riders. Ho Nelson, Ben Post in Nan Price's colours. Went behind the trees in the lead. Leads by a couple of lengths from Tribal Ventures. Going quite well in second place with Oliver Murphy. It's won one hunter chases of the hunter chases of Warwick last year. But Ho Nelson with Tribal Venture on the outside. Absolutely barking has gone into third place, so racing into this home straight, just two fences to jump. And Ho Nelson and Ben Post on the outside is Tribal Venture and Oliver Murray. Oliver Murphy rather as they come to this final fence. Ho Nelson and Tribal Venture, little to choose between them. Ho Nelson on the inside and Ben Post on the outside Tribal Venture. 
absolutely barking, what? trying to come at them up on this run in. But at the moment, it's Ho Nelson and Tribal Venture. Tribal Venture, the grey on the outside. Ho Venture on the inside. There's very little to choose between those. We'll leave that one for the judge. Back in third place is absolutely barking with Lord Seamus back in fourth place. To keep the course clear, please. Uh, the finishers are coming in thick and fast. Developing then to five honours and you and me. This is the one they started with their backs to. It'll be the second last next time around. Not to be over that one safely. On to this next one then. And up front squadron leader from Jaunty in second place. Rala Heen, the Salad Dodger. Tom Spring being ridden along on the outside. And Eduardo's dream, just playful in the pale blue jacket. Circuit to go, getting a bit close up front between Scotland and John and Rabbit. Four, five is Eduardo Green, six Tom Spring, seven on the inside, just playful, eight on the inner is five yeah, honours. You and me just alongside that one as they take this one. And Tom Spring has been relegated to the back of the field, looks as he might pull after jumping that one. Tom Spring after being prominent earlier on but racing down to their final open ditch then and squadron leader from Jaunty they've gone on by a couple of lengths from the Salad Dodger after that comes Ralaheen racing 4-5 is Eduardo Green 6-5 on this 7 is you and me 8 to last is just playing for Seven eight lanes clear of Ralaheen. Five hundred is running to get third place now. They're drawing clear of just playful. So this is the fourth and final one. Jaunty really got in there. So there's no one in there by big wings, but that's allowed the Salad Dodger on the outside to join him. Five columns races about seven or eight lengths away in third place as they race uphill now towards the final three fences. So the Salad Dodger. From the Mount Skewdemore stable, they won the first race here with Jeremy Maho in the saddle. On the inside, Jaunty is about a neck in front of the Salad Dodger as they come to this third last. Jaunty then by about a length as they come to it, Jaunty from the Salad Dodger. Jaunty out jumped again by the Salad Dodger and they're clear of five honours in third place and Just Playful and Ralaheen. Those are the only ones going now as they race now back towards us. Onto this second last fence. On the inside is Jaunty. On the outside, the blue jacket of the Salad Dodger. They're racing now towards this 15th and final fence, and as they come to it, once again, Jaunty very untidy. The Salad Dodger jumping better on the outside. They're followed then by Five Honours and Just Playful as they race up to the judge, and it's the Salad Dodger and Jeremy Maho. Take it up now. Jeremy Maho going for a double. On the Salad Dodger, that one takes it from Jaunty in second place. It's going to be close between five honours and just playing for third place. Those are the only yeah, that was The yellow jacket of he's back again. Let's see. Race uphill now towards us. They take that, not to be rude. Jan. Inclined to jump out to the right quite a bit as they come to this fence it was their first next time round it'll be their last not to be rude again out to the right from exit dove astra prone cracking cliche then bullion boy after bullion bullion boy comes back again magic skull and crystal eyes the clover is not there so i presume that one pulls up to the Come on to fence number nine. Not to be rude. Out to the right slightly on the inside exit down. Quickly on to the next, not to be rude. Once again, jumping quite badly out to the right, but also the exit down. Cracking cliche enough to broke 
in the straight of course as they swing left-handed now down that hill for the final time. Five to jump. Open ditch is the next one. Not to be moved by about half a length from exit now. Cracking cliche right there in third place with Astra Bro to the upper three lengths in back to the morning. And a couple of lengths to ease back again. Come down to the far the last open ditch. Again and crystal eyes. Those are the only ones showing. Come towards this water. Not to be rude. With cracking cliche going up on the outside. And a slight mistake there by Astra Broad as cracking cliche takes it up now for the first time. From not to be rude. Then Astra Broad. And exit done. Those four are well clear. As they come now to this third last bend. Quite a long run uphill to it. Cracking cliche, and Adrian Wintle have quickly drawn clear of not to be rude. Cracking cliche in these very well known colours, Scarlet Knight, the rival colours, leads by about two and a half lengths from not to be rude, is sticking to the cast. Well, moves are gone clear now of Astro Road, exit dove, Crystal Eyes, and Bullion Boy, so into the home straight, just two to jump. Cracking cliche and Adrian Wintle. Not to be rude and Richard Burton as they race now towards the final fence and not to be rude to come up on the outside again to take it up. Not to be rude and Richard Burton come to it about three lengths clear of cracking cliche as they race up this run in to the judge. Not to be rude was quickly asserted from cracking cliche and the one staying on well in third place is Crystal Eyes but racing up to the judge not to be rude takes this one for the Crow Stable from cracking cliche in second place. Crystal Eyes finishes in third followed by Right, we'll meet you back in the house. Uh, oh look, three in there. Okay, so I'm coming, I'm coming. Then comes Victory Parade, the one getting rather behind is Newnham Mole. As they come back towards us, jump this next fence. Up front, Ron the Boy, and on the inside, Super Owl. Super Owl in the yellow jacket takes it up from Ron the Boy, who hit it. The orange jacket then of Dower Party, after that, just Malt. The one beginning to be pushed along a bit is Victory Parade. So as they race past us with a circuit to go, Super L, four-year-old, Tom Garner, from Ron the Boy, Just Malt. After that, we've got Robin Jr., Victory Parade, Donald Parker, you have to have its mount. Then when that one is taken by storm, they're clear of my nice guy. Tailed off is Newnham Mole as they take this last one. Looks as if um, Newnham Mole was pulled up, didn't jump that nine fence, but downhill they go towards their final open ditch. And up front, Super Owl leading from Just Malt. The Tree Parade's gone into third place now with Run the Boy. The other grey, taken by storm, has made headway as well. So this is their final open ditch, five fences from the finish, as they come to it. Super Al comes to it, got into the bottom of it from Just Malt, Victory Parade taken by Storm, we've lost Abbott's Mount of that one, Jeremy Maho up on his feet okay, Dark Party is pulled up, and so also as my nice guy. So this is four out where Dave Mansell comes to take it up on Taken by Storm. Taken by Storm from Just Malt Victory Parade and up name Ernie Leader Super Owl. So they race up now with three fences to jump. Taken by Storm. Silver Patriarch five-year-old there. Not raced before. race up towards the third last taken by storm with victory parade so it's david mansell and richard burton again 
as they come to this third last, taken by Stormover by a length and a half from Victory Parade. They're clear of Just Malt in third place. They're weakening. Super Al comes next, and then Ron the Boy. So just two fences to jump. Taken by Storm is the Grey. Victory Parade is the one on the outside as they race towards his final fence, the 15th and final fence taken by storm comes to it joined on the outside by victory parade so taken by storm and victory parade and victory parade and richard burden take it up now hanging a little bit on this sloping run in but victory parade in the rougher colors holding on a good run by taken by storm this first ever run but richard burden it is make it a double on the day from taken by storm and it's a long way back to third place and just mold and it looks as if those will be just the three finishers well, if you've had a good day have a safe journey home it's very